Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial from Guys Playing Games. Today we're doing a tutorial on energy. This is coming from a special request by viewer Mark Blackman, who asked us to talk about assigning energy. And we realized if we're going to talk about assigning energy, we should kind of go into where energy comes from and the bigger deal, because energy is kind of paramount to how you use huge ships. Everything is dependent on it. Um, if you look at the ship cards, I pulled out two examples. One of the um, 10 to 4, they're the the CR90 and then also the Gazanti Cruiser because it's new and shiny and we wanted to use it. Um, the Gazanti Cruiser only has one ship card whereas the CR90 has two. Um, the, the two halves being the for front and back sections, fore and aft, and it's kind of important to look at how what's on which card. On the Gazanti Cruiser it's easy. That reactor that I mentioned is right there, that pink number at the top. And the reactor determines what the maximum amount of energy you can hold in a round is. Uh, on the reactor itself. On the back section of the CR90, you'll see that 5 there, that is the reactor for the CR90. Each one of these ships is then going to take energy that it acquires each round and assign that to either cargo that it's holding or to hard points, basically the weapons that it has. For example, the Gazanti Cruiser comes with the dual laser turret and it's going to use energy during the attack phase to shoot. Now energy comes from, at the same time as movement, during your activation phase. If you look at the dial, you'll notice that there's a, a the, the normal movement measurement there, this is a straightforward one, and then little pink energy icons as well. The straightforward one on the Gazanti Cruiser has three energy icons, and what that means is when the Gazanti moves that straightforward one, he's also going to have three energy tokens placed on the ship card, essentially in waiting in the reactor. At the end of the activation phase, those three energy icons are then dispersed across the ship as you need it to be. If I had that dual laser turret that has a one right here, that pink one, I could take one of these energy tokens and place it on there to be used during the action phase or the, the attacking phase. Now, the other icons that are left on the reactor could be used for other abilities. A lot of the ship cards actually have abilities that require energy and you have to have that energy on the ship card to use it. You can't spend energy tokens from hard points or cargo once they've been assigned. Again going back to the reactor though, that 4 there means that that's the maximum amount of energy that I can hold in the reactor. So let's just say that I had gone a couple turns into a match and I was currently holding two energy on my uh, reactor, on the ship card, and I had already assigned one energy token to the dual laser turret. I take a straightforward one and I'm about to get three brand new energy. Does that mean I have five energy sitting in the reactor? I don't. I can only hold up to the four that I'm allowed. The fifth one is then discarded and unused. This gets a little bit tricky when you're having to balance actions around and, and I think this also caused some confusion when Fantasy Flight first released the rules on energy or er, uh, on the epic ships and how and when they get energy. Originally when you started the game, ships were completely empty of energy. Everything's starting at zero. Later on, they then changed that rule stating that when the game when the round the game starts, uh, the ships have full energy, both in the reactor and all of the hard points, but not cargo. That's really important. Hard points, the weapons do have full energy, and so does reactor. Cargo does not. So a lot of people question, well, does that mean that the first turn, when I'm getting energy from that movement, is that just discarded? And the short answer is yes. That energy is kind of wasted in a way, but what it also allows you to do is get that epic ship just straight into battle. It can take a huge move straight into, uh, into combat. Um, and you really don't have to worry about building up energy and, and assigning it everywhere. You can get right in and start fighting, which is really a, a nice change. Kind of balances things out. Um, what you may find with the huge ships is that they're a little bit of uh, pin cushions and just take a lot of damage if people focus fire on them. And so this means they're not defenseless for a number of rounds having to build up energy to attack with. Uh, now, assigning that energy again only takes place after, at the end of the activation phase, when you acquire that energy from your movement, and then there's that kind of intermediary point of assigning energy out to all the tokens, or, or sorry, to all the hard points and cargo that you have as needed. Hope this is helpful. Please be sure to turn into our other tutorials, subscribe to one of the things around us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.